Yeah, what's up guys? It's a boy Rox again here back at it again. And as you can probably always see from the title and obviously the thumbnail, we're gonna play a bit with the P50, aka the 50 bullet pistol, as you can see. And why I have it equipped like this, uh, don't ask me. I watched one too many videos about a certain gunsmith. Anyways, the thing has really decent headshot damage. I mean, with, with decent, I'm meaning you have to headshot or you're absolutely boned. So yeah, that's fun. But yeah, otherwise, other than that, it's a extremely good gun, in my opinion. And if you put a dragon of scope on it, this thing has absolutely zero recoil. So it's not completely a meme. Would I recommend it for anyone? No, you're probably gonna get a severe case of carpal tunnel with this thing. Because you do have to spam it, kind of. Because you do kind of just like... But you can see, it has pretty much zero visual recoil. Which is staggering for a pistol with this much ammo. And for being... And for only having 18 damage on range. While having a suppressor. This thing has a suppressor on it. Even though suppressors are broken and I know. But still, that guy just absolutely lacked. Come back. Yeah, <laughs> pumpkins. You gotta love them. You just gotta absolutely love them. This guy is lagging out of the exist. This guy is literally lagging his existence away. Holy hell. Hello. But the thing is what you can also do is you can use it as a pistol. As a semi DMR. Like a low range. Like an MP DMR or something like that. Because it still does like 27 on the head. For no reason. Other than just doing it. Can you? Would you mind? Alright. Guess we're going the other way and killing other people here. Hey. Right. Other than that. The thing has been in the game for ages, and I only thought about the reload now. But in the end, no one really uses this thing because, first of all, you have to spam, and it still is not the best pistol. The best pistol is still, like, probably the Deagle, but on, like, like not Deagle pistols, this is probably the best. The damage is good, really good range, anything is just, it fits pretty well. But yeah, first of all, and now I've got to talk about it a bit more. First of all, I want to thank you guys insanely again for the support on the recent video. We got, like, 650, almost 800 views in the first 24 hours like under 24 hours so that's actually very much thank you guys on that and well if you haven't subscribed already maybe do that we're on the road to 2.5k and we're already very close to it so yeah and also yeah right we're probably gonna get the progression system this week from what i heard and i actually can't wait because i'm actually kind of wanting to grind right now i haven't played in a good while where did you come from what well anyways so i hope the progression system comes out this week because i actually just like i want to grind a looks again because recently i even got this low to grinding bad business again so if you guys want to see a video about that let me know in the comments too i guess how about you don't thank you Gum. i'm gonna have severe cases of I mean, the thing is, if you're a micro player, if you used to be a micro player, yeah, you're definitely pretty good at this. Yo! That's a triple kill right there. But yeah, it's insanely easy to do headshots with this thing too, for some weird reason. I don't know, but every time I play this thing, my headshot aim just goes up a lot. I think he's good. I think he's doing fine. He's doing just fine. Let him sleep, boys. Says about hit, being hit, hitting a lot of headshots while whiffing every bullet afterwards. That's just classical rogues. Anyways, we see a straight in the second round. Here we are straight in the second round. This time it's nightlife, and this thing should shine on nightlife. Also, little tip, you can slide through that little gap right there and get a nice push on them. Unless everyone's absolutely dead, and you have to look out for people not actually um, still literally spawning there, like this guy did. And on close range, it also is pretty good, actually. It does 25 damage close range, if you can get the uh, full close range thingy going. Which shouldn't be that hard for some of you, especially for our friends, for everyone like that watches me. Like I think everyone is a WQ warrior that watches me. Please stop lagging. Thank you. I should be dead, I'm not dead. Uh, Alright, that was interesting. We just got a nice kill feed. I really want my old crosshair back, man. Please, Bryfron. Please, Bryfron. Already whitelist. Uh, uh, please, just re-whitelist, reshade. It's all I ever want. And this thing is like a punching machine. Like double punch him and then you're, then you're good to go. Like look at that. That is some juicy double tap damage. I mean, there yeah, you can see, you could actually just probably see how the damage decreases. You have to be really, really close when you actually hit the full uh, 25, 25 damage but And I think after they fix the, uh, like if they fix the compressor bug, you would definitely want to use a muzzle break on this thing because damage range doesn't matter at all. I mean, I guess you could use a suppressor if you want to. It could work, actually. I just wouldn't recommend it because this thing is also really good as a long-range support. Even though I'd probably still use a sniper or the uh, Tavor, probably. The Tavor seems a bit better at doing long-range stuff like this. Other than that, it's really good. Yeah. I just had to. 
the urge for pumpkins is, is returning, guys. And I can't, and I don't, I'm not even gonna stop it. I'm just gonna accept it at this point. You're laggy. You're one laggy fella, buddy. Please go back to US, all right? Man, it actually feels good uh, being happy about recording right now. I'm actually pretty happy about this recording stuff. I mean, the thing is the update, like actually the progression system really got me absolutely hyped up right there. Like it absolutely got me hyped up. I'm just really just want to go back to uh, grinding aim blocks. Like the thing is, if they reset the ranks, I already said this in my first video. We are going, we're so going to do a rank series. Like, like in one video, I'm going to go through diamond, like uh, silver, like bronze to silver, then silver to bronze. Now silver to gold, gold to diamond, and then diamond to paragon. Anyways, we see a strat in the third round. All right, and here we are already in the last round. And as you guys can see, it's TDM. Well, I did not want to play TDM, but I'm just gonna accept it now. Let's see, we can. Let's see, maybe we can get 40 kills with this thing. I'm surprised. I'm gonna stress if we can get more than 30. But hey, who knows? Everything's possible in this game. Thing is, I like recently dropped like a 80 kill game, but um, Nvidia just decided to like go absolutely say no. I'm not going to give you your 80 kill game. It literally corrupted the recording, and it made me absolutely sad. Well, this is gonna take a second. But like I said. With less players, the thing is, getting records on this on uh, TDM is actually not that hard. Just get a lobby that's pretty dead, and then you can play again. Also, my eyes literally watering up right now, and I don't know why. Can you please stop doing that? Thank you. Just hope mouse button one pressed will hit at one point. How did I not hit that guy like at least like five times at this point? Thank you. And we're gonna push now because my hands already hurting. Jesus, no camping. This guy's an LRP and he's lagging like hell. Oh, that is a very dangerous combo. LRP plus lag is like, you can just feel your soul leaving your body out hell. What did I tell you? If you hit all headshots, especially if you're panicking like me, the thing destroys people. But honestly, yeah, but like, I'm really wondering how the protection system is gonna be. And if we're gonna get like something like double XP, XP tokens, because one thing I really hope is like, can we please update the 50% uh, more XP token? Like the, uh, like the thing is we have a bundle that increases XP. The problem is it doesn't do any, it, it gives you like two or I think like three more XP. And it's so dumb because why? Like I, it's like 23 plus 50 is more than just three. I thought I'd get more XP, but you pretty much get almost nothing. So I also, for anyone who bought it, I'm sorry. Just, it, it's not worth it. So I hope they also fix it with that, honestly. And I'm very interested to seeing the rank rewards. I'm actually very interested in seeing those. Oh, Jesus. Well, this will be a lot of cutting for this round, Jesus. But I guess that proves our point on getting, 50, on getting at least 40 kills. Could actually get a decently high kill game on this one if we keep going. And honestly, this will get so much faster. I could probably actually get a really squeeze at a good round if I actually uh, used my Odin and my AK, but I just can't be bothered, honestly. Not really, at least. Can we get a more than a triple kill on this? Two. Three. There's another one right there. We have 15 bullets left. Oh, there's way too many people right there. Jesus. Why are there so many people here? Now the lobby is really filling up. Like what? Hey. We could if we hit 40 kills. Can we hit 50? That's the question. Can we, can, can, we hit 50, can we hit 50? Can we hit 50? I need to be on perfect pacing for this. And not do this and with every bullet and waste time. Don't you run. I still need you. We might be able to actually get it. There's one. There's two, there's three, and there's four. We had 50 kills. Let's go. We had 50 kills with the 50 bullet magazine, with the 50 bullet gun. Oh, that is hilarious. And well, this was also, this was actually quite fun. But anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and always subscribe. It's the best way to show me that you guys like the stuff that I make. But anyways. I hope you guys have a nice day. I'm Roxy, I'm Connor Creator, and we'll see us straight in the next one. Ciao, ciao!